in the middle of the most dangerous receiver out to the right. But Justin Thomas never had an opportunity. He's dragged down at the 30-yard line. Dorian O'Daniel and J. Ron Curse combined. Mario Penders turn at tailback. They fake it to him. Beasley hitting McGuire as he throws. Lofts it down. Fina looking for O'Leary. is Irvin Phillips, and he is ambushed back at the 17-yard line, or at the 12-yard line. It's a loss of four. To the end zone, intercepted. Picked off by J. Ron Curse. And that was a bad throw by Caleb Rowe. He could not let that happen. is thinking Christmas comes early. Here's pressure up the middle. Now Beasley. Should he got around him. And that ball is intercepted by Jaron Curse. They're going to finish this season. Fumble recovered by Clemson. You didn't think it could get worse? Yes, it can. Josh Wilson appeared to be the guy who knocked it loose from Keith Ford. There's a wide to take the shot. Clemson had it covered up and then he throws to his tight end crossing J. Ron Curse. Knocked it away from Cam Serenade. And that was close to pass interference. J. Ron Curse, number 20, comes at the end. Watch this. This is a double move or fake screen on the outside. Got to be aggressive in this type of game. Hasn't been easy to trick the Tigers, run right at him, or anything else. And Holford completes his pass to E.J. Scott, and he got nailed by J. Ron Curse. And that's enough. Here's the blitz. Gardner gets rid of it, finds Quick, and Quick unable to spin away from the defender, J. Ron Curse. It's a loss of two, third and long. Curse, the nephew of former all pro Javon Curse. And Nish, you talked about it earlier, about the ability for Clemson secondary to... Here's the pressure. Batted down, nearly intercepted. That was Curse again, and it's fourth down. Well, Beasley was in the face of the quarterback, Gardner, and this is almost a disaster. Beasley... Stop. This is pretty impressive.